students, welcome back. Our next session is session eight, user satisfaction. How do we satisfy our users? Are our users satisfied? These are some of the questions we ask ourselves. This session aims to expand the student's understanding of customer services and library user satisfaction. Students will further be equipped with skills on how to assess a library's quality of service and user satisfaction. The key topics to be covered in this section are as follows. Topic one, customer service. Topic two, service quality. Topic three, user satisfaction. Then the last topic, evaluating service quality and customer satisfaction. In this light, we will first discuss the information service quality. Why are we saying that? Because a constant concern of information service provider is to improve and maximize user satisfaction. A user satisfaction is directly linked with the services he or she receives, customer services. Customer service has been categorized as meeting the needs and expectations of the customer as defined by the customer. You should know your customers. Information providers manage information resources for the basic purpose of serving their customers. What we are saying is that every contact a customer makes with an information provider is an opportunity for the customer to form an opinion about the information provider. When such moments of true go or manage, the quality of services regresses to mediocrity. We need to manage our customers. There is a chart or a diagram on customer management. What this diagram is saying is, we have perspective or never gain customers. We have our present customers. Then we have the lost customers. As shown in the diagram, information centers like other service organizations serve present customers. The information center must also try to attract prospective or even lost customers, and that is what the diagram is showing. Lost customers should not be ignored. Decision on library user customer satisfaction should therefore be anchored in a clear, systematic, and differentiated analysis for the customer values. Let's look at service quality. What is service quality? Library service quality is given as the gap between customer expectation of the library services and their perception of the services offered by that library. The gap between user's expectation and perception of the library services, and that is service quality. There are certain instruments that we use to measure library service quality. We can use the SEFQA. We stand for service quality. SEFQA is a generic instrument used in marketing for measuring the service quality gap and for making comparisons of general expectations across service industries. We have five SEFQA dimensions. We have the tangibles, the reliability, responsiveness, assurance, and empathy. Tangibles, appearance of physical facilities, equipment, personnel, and consumer materials. When we talk about reliability, ability to perform the promise service depending on accuracy. Responsiveness, that's the willingness to help customers and provide prompt services. The assurance is the knowledge and courtesy of employees and the ability to convey trust and confidence. The last one is empathy, the last of the five sequel dimension. Empathy is our caring, it's about individualized attention the library provides for its customers. 
We also have the one we call Libqua. Now let's move on to user satisfaction. Now that we have established a firm understanding of service quality, this has laid a foundation for our next topic, user satisfaction. Remember that earlier we indicated that user satisfaction is directly linked to the quality of service. The service satisfaction level of a customer is based on the services the customer receives, hence customer service. User satisfaction assessment should encompass the following key areas. You need to assess user satisfaction with the current library resources and information services. We also need to assess the actual and potential use of the information. How do we evaluate service quality and customer satisfaction? And that will be our topic four, evaluation of service quality and customer satisfaction. This can be done in two ways, direct user input and library self-assessment. With the direct user input, we have to look at user satisfaction survey and user information needs. What we mean by user satisfaction survey? It is to give users subjective impression of the library, information resources, and the services. When you talk about user satisfaction survey, the intention here is to gauge the user's impressions of the library information resources and services. When you talk about user information needs survey, so look at three things. You first measure patrons' information use pattern. You look at the user's knowledge of information resources. Then the last one, their knowledge of how the resources have been organized. The most effective survey are those that solicit data that can be used to ascertain user needs rather than wants. Yet, we shouldn't throw away their wants and desires. But once in a while, we need to satisfy, satisfy their wants and desires. The next one is library self-assessment. We have the access, availability, and use of the collection. The library must do self-study in the way the users assess their information, availability of the information, and how users use their collection. They should also look at the collection and learning resources. They should look at the information literacy services. They should look at the, their IT or the information technology. They should look at how they collaborate with faculty and other academic staff in the case of academic libraries. They should also look at the library staff and the outcome assessments. The last is the data gathering. Data is needed to be able to analyze and assess service quality. Data is needed to perform both the direct user input and the library staff assessment. Some of the data gathering techniques include interviews, focus group discussion, and surveys. You will be divided into a 10 member group on Sakai. Each group will use the self qual instrument to assess user satisfaction and the quality of service of any library of your choice. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the session on information user satisfaction and the quality of service. In our next session, we'll look at some of the performance indicators in undertaking a library's self-assessment.